Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here from Bulgaria. Today we are in the city of Plovdiv. This is a city that has a lot of pretty good food and um, I'm very very excited. We, this is our first time having food here in Bulgaria so I'm excited to show you what Bulgarian food is like. I don't even know what Bulgarian food is like. From what I understand it is very similar to Turkish food simply because Bulgaria was part of the Ottoman Empire, it was taken over, um, and which is why when we were in Romania we saw so much history about how the, they were fighting the Ottomans because Bulgaria, which is south of Romania, was already taken away. It was already um, taken away by the Ottomans. A lot of Turkish food, a lot of Turkish influences, but nonetheless there should still be some Eastern European influences that we're going to try out while we're here in Bulgaria. But let's go ahead, it's kind of lunchtime now, so I feel like the best way to get into Bulgarian cuisine is to try to visit a local little cafeteria. So let's go find one and let's go ahead and get our lunch in for the day. Yes, please. Like this? I love it. Chicken. Can I have one chicken soup, please? Why is here? Here, here, here. This rice, please. Can I get one of the peppers as well? And then some of the meat balls. All right, first off the day, we've come to a place. This is a place known as Chili. Um, no, this is not American chilies. This is Bulgarian chili. And they're a cafeteria that sort of serves different types of food. Um, cafeteria style very very good and by the way i got like four plates of food the price 17 red. that is ridiculous how affordable the food is here in bulgaria i got a soup i got some rice i got a fried fish thing and i got some uh, stuffed pepper which is traditional here in bulgaria and of course meatballs and potatoes and things like that honestly i don't know the bulgarian name so do not ask me for the bulgarian names but without further ado let's go ahead and start off with the chicken soup Again, you can see it's got that yellowish orangish color, which is what we had when we were in uh, Romania. So that sort of color is the same. Let's see if it tastes the same as well. Let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, hearty, hearty, oily soup there. That is delicious. It's so smooth. I love how oily and smooth it is. It just sort of coats your mouth in the most amazing flavor. It's almost like chicken fat. Just coats your entire mouth. You can see the top layer there. It's it's quite oily. It's not the healthiest, sort of cleanest soup, but is it delicious? Absolutely. I would eat that in a heartbeat. Now let's go on with the rice. This is chicken rice. Um, I don't know what it is. Chicken and rice probably with maybe some carrots. It looks like it's a cold dish. I don't know. Let's go ahead and try it out. Mm, very interesting. The rice is a little bit creamy. There's a bit of like a mayonnaise-y sauce on it but really really just not too warm not not too warm it almost feels like a rice salad but the chicken really nice really soft very very tender and that's what i see about the rice and the chicken as well it's all coated in this sort of creamy sauce so that's delicious all right let's go for the fish this looks like a fried fish stick that's all it looks like let's go ahead and see that is literally a fried fish stick. It doesn't have anything else but a fried fish stick on the inside. Very, very fried fish sticky. Um, but I love the little cracklings on the outside. Really, really crispy. And finally, the main thing here. This is the main plate here. Let's just start with the peppers. This is peppers stuffed with rice and meat. This is about as traditional as it gets. And even though there's just the pepper, it's coated in this like sauce that's on the outside. Um, it looks really good and it's about to fall off my fork, so let's go ahead and give it a bite. Mm, oh, that is delicious. I've had a lot of stuffed peppers in my life. This might be one of my favorites. I love the flavor of the rice on the inside. It's very fragrant. It's almost got like an herby sort of oregano -y. and you can see the sauce itself. The sauce has a bit of herbs on it. It's got these little leaves inside that show you that, you know, it's not just a simple sauce. You've got some flavor to it. And of course, next to the peppers, I've got a load of fried potatoes and meatballs. Meatballs are a very common thing here. They're kufte, which is what, you know, it's based off the Turkish style meatballs. But let's go ahead and just get 
some of the potatoes here. I want to try out and see if these crispy potatoes really live up to the hype. Let's try them out. Mmm. Oh, very delicious garlicky flavor to these fried potatoes. They're like garlic roasted potatoes, which I absolutely love. No complaints about at all. Garlic roasted potatoes are some of my favorite things in the world to have, so that is delicious. All right, let's of course try out the meatball. The main thing here, the meatball. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. That's actually got some spice to it. It's got like a, not like a heat sort of spice, but like a Turkish sort of spice flavor to it. Like I said, Turkish influence, really, really big in Bulgaria. This tastes like a meatball that I would have in Turkey, you know, filled with spices, filled with herbs, filled with all that flavor that you usually get from Turkish cuisine, but it's right here in Bulgaria. I mean, for me, my favorite thing here, the soup, delicious. Absolutely love the soup. The meatballs and the potatoes, that's what you really should come for. And the stuffed pepper, also really, really good. But for me, the price is really what you're here for. 17 lev for all of this. I thought it was gonna be at least like 30 lev, but for the amount you're getting here and the quantity that you have and the quality of it as well, there's a reason that people like come here and have lunch in the middle of the day. It's cheap, good home cooking, and it is about as delicious as it gets when you want to get traditional, authentic Bulgarian food here in the city, which is not something that's easy to get considering Plovdiv is kind of a well-visited touristy area, but very, very delicious. I'm going to finish this up and let's go see where else we can eat. Oh, that was a delicious meal. And honestly, after that meal, I'm stuffed. I thought I could eat a little bit more in somewhere else, but I am literally stuffed from that. That was delicious. Like I said, the price of that 17 lev, I mean, just extremely, extremely affordable. I, I thought they were lying to me. I didn't think that that could actually possibly be the price of so much food, but apparently here in Bulgaria, that is the price. Um, but anyways, we're gonna walk around the city and uh, when I'm hungry again, I'll let you guys know and I will see what we can eat then. All right, next place we've come to is a place that is called Jumaya, and it is a Turkish sweet and coffee house that has been around since, let's get this straight, 1364. That's like, what, 800, 700 years of history? That's pretty insane. Now, this place serves traditional Turkish sweets, Turkish coffee, Turkish drinks, anything Turkish you can probably have here. And the reason is because the mosque uh, the main mosque here in Plovdiv is actually right behind it. So it's actually sort of housed under the mosque itself. Um, first off, cold lemonade. It's a hot day here in Plovdiv. I need a cold lemonade. Let's go and give it a try. Oh, delicious, citrusy, refreshing, and cold. That is exactly what you want on a hot day here in Plovdiv. Now, I've gotten something which is very, very interesting. Um, it's called katmir. And what is katmir? Katmir is a Bulgarian pastry called banitsa with pistachios. Now, banitsa, I didn't know what banitsa was, but from what I understand, it kind of looks like karayif. It kind of looks like the Turkish karayif that I had when I was in Istanbul when I was in Turkey. So it looks like a very traditional Turkish thing. And if I had this in Istanbul, I wouldn't question it at all as Turkish. The fact they have it here in Bulgaria, even more surprising. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off a little piece. You can see Kayev, it's that cheesiness, you know? With that syrup, oh, look at how stretchy that cheese is. One of the best things about Turkish desserts is that cheesy um, sort of crispiness on the outside. All right, let's go ahead and try out our first Katmir um, here in Bulgaria. Mm. I never thought I was gonna get karayif as good as I had in the sand bowl. And I am wrong. Because this is straight out from Turkey. It is warm, it is crumbly, it is so, so comfortable. The cheese, it's melty, it's stretchy, it's soft. It just disintegrates in your mouth. The crispiness of the karayif on the outside creates like a biscuit layer, like fried noodles. The sweetness, the tender sweetness of the cheese is delicious. Topped off with pistachio powder, which is amazing for the karayef. It's, it's perfect for the katmer. Oh my goodness. That is honestly something straight out from the streets of Istanbul. I'm not even kidding about how authentic and how good this tastes. I am genuinely shocked 
by the quality of the food um, that, that, that I'm getting here. It's honestly like I was in Turkey again. That's how good this is. This is delicious. I mean, honestly, hands down, one of the best desserts I've had in Eastern Europe. The Ottomans really put their influence here, whether it's religion, politics, food, they definitely got their food in because this is just as good as what I have in, 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 in Istanbul. But that is incredible. And like I said, it's in Bulgaria. We aren't in Turkey. We are in Bulgaria. And yet we can still get something that is basically straight out from Istanbul. It's warm, it's comfortable, it's delicious. And with a cold lemonade on the side, it's the best afternoon snack I could ask for. What is this? This? Yeah. Potato ball. Potato ball. Is it just potato? Potato, cheese, egg. Ah, uh, potato, cheese. What about that one? This? Uh, to the red. Yes, it's that. This is the uh, pork. Pork. Pork, meatball, and spice. All right, well, the sun has set. There is a little doggy who has seen my food and is craving what I'm about to eat because I've got meat. Lots and lots of meat. I've gone to a place called Bistek 90. I don't know what the other words are there, but it's a big red sign. It's a big red store, and it's located right on the main walking street, the longest walking street in all of Europe. And I've gotten ribs and a little beef, no, not pork meatball. But these ribs, first off, can we just admire how tender these ribs are? I mean, I'm just ripping it off right now. It is the softest, like, a softest meat ever. Um, they have this big grill on the inside, which they grill out in the morning. So they have all the meats cooked. And this is just whatever's left over. At the end of the day, I mean, they're closing in like five minutes right now. So that's why I'm eating it out here on the main street. But without further ado, let's go ahead and try out our first pork rib here in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Um, that pork is just coated in the most luscious, in the most flavorful in the most delicious fatty sort of oil looking at it you can see how tender it is it literally most part the each strand of muscle there is just gonna break apart once it enters in your mouth that is one of the best bites of pork ribs i've ever had in my life it is so insanely tender i mean wow the flavor on that pork it's so smoky i can it's like i can still taste the smoke from that flavor there, that is incredible. And the marbling between the meat and the fat, it's incredibly well done, really, really good. Okay, finally, of course, we've got the meat pork patty. This is a meatball with spices in it. Um, let's go ahead and try it out. Mm. That is incredible. That it might be a Bulgarian meatball, but that tastes something like Indian. It's got like spice, what? and lots of spice and actually it's got quite like a heaty spice like i think they might have put some chilies or something on there but that is delicious it's also a very very dense meatball there's not a lot of air it's not a lot of bounciness it's very very dense meat in there and that is delicious wow and by the way total price for all this 10 late that's like what five bucks that is insanely affordable for two of these massive ribs i mean Look at the size of these ribs. They are like the size of my face. Like that is pretty, pretty insane if you ask me. And then of course, the meatball on the side, which is absolutely delicious as well. I mean, 100% recommend this place. The food, the meat is just so, so tender. Like I said, the flavor of the meat, the smokiness of the pork. That's what you really, really come here for because it's honestly off the chart tender and off the hook good. Honestly, after all that meat, I'm pretty stuffed. I am really meated out. I've got the meat sweats. Um, I'm definitely full for today. But what an amazing food day it has been here in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. So many delicious foods that we've tried. I mean, from, from the cafeteria, the stuffed peppers were amazing. The, the meatballs and the meatballs that we had just now, also really good. Um, the banitsa pastry, uh, which is basically really a Turkish kalaif. They've just had a different name for it here in Bulgaria. Um, but it's like something that's straight out from, you know, what I would expect in Istanbul. I mean, that is the type of food that we have here in Bulgaria. 
and and obviously that is really what appeals to me about Bulgarian food. It's so similar to some of the best cuisines in the world, Turkish cuisine, Greek cuisine, um, and it's a mix of all those Balkan influences together that creates the beautiful Bulgarian cuisine. Um, but what an amazing way to end off our night here in Bulgaria with that meal, just now the pork ribs, so, so tender. I am stuffed, I am really, really full, so that's how you know it's been a good food day. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more food and travel videos. We've got more videos coming here from Bulgaria, so make sure to stay tuned. But for now, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed food here in Plovdiv, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Okay.